Yeah, Utah yeah. Jazz. So like that big ass experience, bro. Like accomplishment. Like how was that? Yeah, man. It was it was a huge accomplishment. You know that team was really good. You know what I mean. And um, I think the biggest thing with me was just I didn't couldn't get no playing time. I was behind a bunch of vets. I was a, I was 27 year old rookie. So I had to come in there with a mindset of like, look, I'm gonna come in here, do whatever I need to do, um, be a good locker room guy. Not gonna complain, not gonna bitch. I'm gonna cheer my teammates on when they're doing good. And when I get my opportunity, I get it. So that just never happened. When I say those opportunities like that, it's like, you know, somebody gets sick that day, somebody hurt that day, or, or whatever happens, like, you know, whatever. Those, those are moments where you, you're looking forward to get and you don't get them, you know what I mean? And I never got a chance to really perform or play. Uh, in a meaningful moment where, like, the coach like, all right, look, we can keep him around. Like, I like what he does. But, you know, it was a great experience. You know, I made a – that was a playoff team, West Conference type team in the playoffs. So I'm glad I made that team and it showed that I can do it at the highest level. But, you know, that shit ain't stopped there. Kept it moving. Went, uh, went back overseas and started, you know, ran back up and figuring out what I was going to do next. You know, I get it. I like how you look at it in the sense, like, yeah. all right, I'm here, yeah. but I know, like, it can go left or right. Right, right, okay. right, right. Right. So that like something you understood off the jump? Yeah, I understood off the jump. You know, uh, you, um, when you go to the league or shit like that, man, you, you fight for a job every day. You mm. know, overseas, you fight for a job every day. You got to perform every single day, every single day. Because if you don't, next man up. You know what I mean? Somebody come and take your minutes or they uh, come somebody Damn. bring somebody else in. Damn. So that locker room, like, that dynamic in that, what was that like? Lovely, bro. I mean, I got relationship with all those guys. Um, they was good people. Um, I had fun being there. Um, you know, laugh, joke. I mean, these dudes are human, bro. They like they really hear me. I mean, they they in the spotlight so much though. When they in a sentence like that, or they, you know, you chilling, or you kicking it, or you at dinner, these guys learn. They, they they really open up and they you know they laugh, joke, they crack jokes, they play around just like everybody else. You know what I mean, yeah, they like the people. Yeah, exactly. No, no, for sure, for sure. Um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like you was on 2K. Yeah, you yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yourself. No, I was some shit for real. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they had me like some shit on there for real. So you know, I put my ratings up and all that. <laughs> <laughs> One thing they did though, I could shoot on there, but other than oh, that, wow. dribbling wasn't there, none of that, man. I was a, Damn. they ain't have my real face. It was, oh, I was like, man, no, nah, I gotta go ahead and. Bump Shit, my I still up. use myself. No, for day. sure, I, I, I definitely use myself on there for sure, though. I mean, it, it was definitely. A thrill to see, like, damn, like I'm really on the video game. You know, mm -hmm. you dream about that shit. You know, I remember Hell sitting yeah. in my mother house right around the corner, like making myself creative player, this that, and third. So actually, be on the game, and then you got my little cousins and all. I'm like, yo, you on the video game? Like that's the little shit that excite me. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's some yeah. real shit. I've been what? I've been 99 overall. Yeah, that's see, that's what I was on. Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was on. Nah, for sure. You know.